Hello and welcome to Smith's. I am a wood cutting fanatic who loves to run a chainsaw. I run alcohol chainsaws, ported chainsaws, I race chainsaws, and I even run the occasional video. Now remember, I cannot do this without you. You're everything to the channel, so please remember, subscribe, give that thumbs up, leave that comment. Today, we are going to have a lot of fun. So, how you doing? As many of you know, I'm planning on having an event here at my place last weekend of July. It'll be both Friday and Saturday, the last weekend of July. Well, today I'm going to start working on that event, getting things ready. Uh, you know, nibble at it just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to kind of bring you along on that journey because we also got us a new piece of uh, equipment or a new toy to play with. So I'd figure I'd show you all about this little thing. She's old, she's a turd, but she runs. <laughs> all right, that's what matters, it runs. So yeah, we're gonna be using this today and let me show you what it is. So what you're looking at here is a late 70s, early 80s, long 460 DT. Uh, it's a 45 horsepower tractor. I just picked it up and we're going to be using it today. I, uh, I've already used it, just hauled some wood around, you know, just kind of playing with it, getting kind of a feel for it. But as you see, it has kind of a makeshift set of forks on it and that should help a lot with moving logs around. Uh, she is four wheel drive capable, but the four wheel drive is not currently working. Uh, one of the axles is broken. So that's part of the deal in buying it, you know, we got some money taken off. Uh, I did look, I can buy an axle online or I can pull the axle out, weld it, fix it, you know. Um, we'll see whenever I get to that point. But right now we're just running it in two wheel drive. Now, yesterday when I was running it, that seat is awful to sit on. So I yanked her off. You can see she just basically absorbs all the water. And when you sit on it, your butt gets wet. So yeah, I yanked it off. And I figured since I had this old seat here, I figured since I had this old seat here sitting in the shop, might as well just bolt it on. And that's what I did. She's a little bit small for the butt cheeks, but she gets the job done. And my butt's not wet. We got a bunch of different levers and controls here. We'll get used to it, you know, in time. Like this one here, that's our PTO clutch. That's our PTO uh, on or off or something like that. Back there's our... Uh, See that the rod's sticking out? That's our four-wheel drive. There's for a three-point hitch. E-brake, clutch, brakes. Brakes work great. Um, it's a high and low range. It does not like to stay in high range. You can put it in high range, but it'll just kick out. So I've just been running it in low range. Again, another feature of why I picked it up as cheap as I did. Um, but those are the two main things that are wrong with it. That... Uh, that there and that axle. Um, I'll probably just run it in low range all the time and not even worry about the high range because low range is just fine for me working around the property. You know what I mean? Now here is our three point setup. And as you can see, we got some auxiliary hydraulic inputs here. So, you know, I could get some equipment to operate off of that. So I do plan on getting a finish mower for it, uh, a disc, and I'm thinking about one of the uh, backhoe attachments, the three-point style backhoe attachments. I'm thinking about going with one of those as well. Uh, those are the three attachments I would like to get. But there she is. In all her ugly glory, we're going to run her today, move some logs around, start getting ready for, the, ready for the event. So you get to see it in action. I'm sure I'm not going to operate it very well, but, you know, it is what it is. We got something to play with now. Oh, none of the lights work. So it has lights, but none of them work. I may never fix them. We'll see. I might fix them just for winter time so I can move snow around. And, you know, let's get her going. Let's see if we can get this thing rolling, right? Alrighty. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going in here and plucking at some of these bigger logs like this. Probably gonna just use it for the event. There's another one over there. But there's a bunch of other logs mixed in here that I'm going to pluck out for the event. And then the firewood rounds, I'm just going to kind of push them to the side 
and get them ready for the splitter. Like I got this one here. We're gonna pluck it out of there for the event. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do it with some more. That way we can get a little more organized and get ready for the event. I got a bunch of wood laying around, all the scattered throughout the property that we're gonna be plucking. And we're all saving it all for the tractor. So let's get to work.
there's what I gathered up so far. Uh, you know, this pile's gonna grow considerably because uh, I plan on having the event for two days, so I need a pretty decent amount of wood. And, you know, I'm sure I'll find some. You know what I mean. But, yeah, I just figured I'd go ahead and start plucking a couple logs out today. See how she goes, you know? So there's a little bit on the tractor and, uh, you know, some of my uh, capabilities now for moving wood around and doing other projects. I have a field. That's kind of the reason I really wanted the tractor. So I have this field behind me. And I didn't have anything to use it or to work it. You know what I mean? So tractor and we're getting one step closer. You know what I mean? Now we are having the event at the end of July. So, so anybody who wishes to attend, you need to send me an email. My email address is homelightsmitty at gmail.com. Pretty simple, right? I do request an email. That way I can kind of keep track of who's coming because I am going to be providing some of the meals. Uh, Friday evening, Saturday breakfast, and Saturday lunch. I plan on providing the Saturday evening meal for anybody who sticks around to Saturday evening. We'll probably just put a uh, pot together and order some pizza or something. You know what I mean? Or eat whatever's left over from Saturday lunch. So that's why I kind of would like to have a message if you do want to attend. Um, if you want to bring something, you know, drinks or some mac salad or, you know, something simple, go right ahead. Uh, we're going to need, a, you know, a lot of food. We're going to need paper plates and silverware and napkins and all sorts of stuff. Now, in the evening, if you guys like to drink beer and stuff, uh, it's bring your own beer. I will not be supplying it. I'm not a drinker, but well, I shouldn't say that. I will drink beer, but I will not go out and buy it to drink it, if you know what I mean. I'll drink one or two here and there. That's about it. So if you want some, you're going to have to bring it. If you wish to spend the night, you can pitch a tent here in the yard somewhere, anywhere. Um, there are hotels. There's just, you know, you're looking at probably a 40-minute drive to the hotel. So if you want to go the hotel route, you can do that. Um, I suggest looking because it depends on which direction you're coming from. It's depending on which hotel you want to go for. Super 8 is quite common, though. Uh, that The Super 8 in, I should say the Super 8 in Altoona is a common choice. Uh, I believe there's one in Bedford. And there's something, there's a couple in Huntington. Just kind of depends on what direction you're coming from is which of those towns you want to stay in. So you'll be staying in either Altoona, Pennsylvania, Bedford, Pennsylvania, or Huntington, Pennsylvania. And I am located in Henrietta, Pennsylvania. So if you wish to attend, just kind of plan accordingly. But yeah, we'll be talking more on this subject. I just figured today, you know, we're going to start getting ready for the event and... I thought I'd show you the tractor and so forth. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good day today. Um, there's a lot of planning going to be happening here. A lot of stuff going to be starting to prepare for. And hopefully it just gets better every year. Uh, most of my plans are going to be coming into effect for next year. And the bigger plans, all the really cool stuff. This year it's going to be more of like a gathering of people to hang out have some fun, play with chainsaws, try each other's saws out. A lot of just hanging out, chilling, talking, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get another trash a load of wood here before the event. I'm gonna try, I have to get that cleaned up down there before I can get another load in. So basically I just really need to split everything I got there and then pull my leftover logs out and put them up here for the event. I think that's probably what I'm just gonna do. You know what I mean? And then uh, I'll be ready for the event. But that's my plan. Just split everything, pull the logs out, and save them for the event, and then get the tracks to load in. So, yeah. But anyway, we'll see how things go, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Later.